here we go. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, three, two, one, go. Good afternoon. Class, I want you all to shut up. That means you loud mouth. You're always talking. This is the first day of class. Welcome to advanced physics. 101. And in this class, we're going to be studying the Barnes soidal constants. Now you should have all had non-sequential rhythms before this is a prerequisite. If you have not, get out of my class. <laughs> now you're breathing my good air. Okay, we will get to exactly what the Barnes soidal constant is. That's the Barnes. Soidal constant. Whoops. Okay. You will submit all of your work in hand. You can also submit computer driven graphics to support your answers, but all work must be done by hand in ink. Okay. So, again, if you have not had non sequential rhythms, I don't know what you're doing here. I'm not going to put up with you. I'm not going to grade you. I'm not going to teach you as we go. You must know this now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to move into the inversion wave versus red line reverberation. Now that is where you will derive the BSC. Okay. And that's what I'm going to call it from now on, the BSC. I'm not going to go into that full name. Okay. And if you talk or chew gum in my class, you get a whipping. Okay. So, the inversion wave versus a red line reverberation. This is where the wave crest and the root, valley root, that's the square of the BSC, is where you're going to derive the red line reverberation. Okay. Is that understood? Let me get this down here. So, um, if you have any questions, write them down, and then turn them in after class. This is the wave crest. Okay. The wave, the wave crest plus the valley root less, I'm sorry, sub, uh, subtract the square minus the square okay, of the BSC. Anybody confused yet? <laughs> if you're confused, raise your hand and you can leave also because I'm being very clear on this, okay? Now this will give you, don't forget plus, this will give you red line reverberation. There's an eye in there if you don't see it. That's how I write my eyes. Don't complain. Okay? You chewing gum? No. <laughs> Better not be. I'll take it away and chew it myself. Okay. So, here's where we're going to start. You're going to use a very specific prime number, which you should already know how to derive from the non-sequential rhythms last year. You're going to derive that prime number. If you get the wrong prime number, you're going to end up going in a big mess and your work is going to look like the Cre Cretaceous explosion period during evolution. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to use a frequency and I want you to use the proper symbolism. Okay, deltas, infinities, less than. Okay, for a frequency of 35 hertz. For a frequency of 35 hertz, 
at the max at the max using translatory using the translatory progressive root sub g this is where your prime number is going to come in don't mess that up <coughs> sub g is your prime number as a matter of fact i'm going to give you the prime number to help you along the prime number that you're going to start with is 73 if you can't calculate something other than the 21st in a series of prime numbers, you're going to be back there going in circles. Okay? So, now what's important to realize? Well, sometimes classical prime numbers have to be factored in. Sometimes non-classical prime numbers. What is a non-classical? Again, you should have had this last year. Okay, so you must derive or invent a non-classical prime number. Go back in your homework if you haven't figured this out. So, from all of this business right here, you're going to end up with a red line reverberation, and at the end of everything, there's your equal signs. Okay, what is D S C. I want this in tomorrow at the beginning of class. For every five minutes after the beginning of class, we're going to subtract 5% from your grade. Any questions? Oh, no. Better not be. Because I ain't answering them. You know all this stuff. <laughs> Figure it out. This is Advanced Physics 101. The Barnes. Soil constant. You should have heard of that. Okay? Good luck, everybody. Have fun. Mm -hmm.